welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today, we are going to be doing an empties video, and a lot of this is skincare related. So we're gonna look at some things I've used up, things I'm ready to, you know, kind of trash. Just wanted to clear up some space. So let's go ahead, and we're gonna start off actually with a bunch of mascaras. I've just kind of been having them sitting here. We're gonna go through, I'll let you guys know whether I would repurchase these items or not. All right, so I have a bunch of mascaras here that I am ready to get rid of. This is the Lancome Lash E Dull Mascara, and I am actually I actually have another tube of this, this, this travel size open right now. You can see it's got this curved wand. I just say I don't love the wand on here, but I think the mascara itself is really great. So I would pick up this mascara again. I think, you know, I've gone through one or two of these already and I have one open now. So I can't remember if I'm on my second or if I'm on my third, but it is one that I pick up. Now it does come in a full size. This is the size that's like $14 on uh, Sephora. So it's, you know, I, I like the smaller ones because I can use them up before they go bad. So yeah, I, I would pick this one up again. Next, we have the Merit Mascara. And this is a Tubi Mascara. The, the wand is kind of, uh, you know, it's like a basic wand, but I have no complaints with it. I actually like this for a Tubi Mascara. Tubi Mascaras are not my favorite just because I feel like they don't really you know, they were, I don't have issues with a lot of mascara transfer most of the time, unless it's a really bad mascara. So I don't require the tubing aspect. So, you know, for this, I think it's a great version of a tubing mascara, but you're not really going to get like volume. You're going to get uh, mostly like definition. So if I were in the market for a tubing mascara, this is the one I would pick up and... Moving on, we have the Chantecai Faux Seal Longest Lash Mascara. This is not a favorite of mine. I find it to be a little bit too wet. It's one of those ones that you wanna open and then a couple weeks later, it has a better consistency. Now, um, I would not purchase this at full price. However, would I purchase it again at a sale price? Yes, I would, but mostly because it has the growth peptide in there. You have to use it you know, like every day and really kind of like wiggle it into the roots of your eyelashes to, you know, make sure that it's actually going to provide growth. I have to say, I haven't really done that. So I've never really tested the effects of it, but I'd be willing to try it again to, to try that. Uh, but again, I would not pay the full price on this. It is, I forget how much this one is now. I think it's, it's somewhere around like 73, $74. So yeah, there are just other ones that I prefer. So this I'd purchase again on like one of their 30% off sales, but not full price. Sisley So Stretch Mascara. Now this one is almost the same price as the Chantecai. It also has a growth peptide. This one's $72. The So Stretch is the lengthening one. I love the wand on this because you can see, you know, it's just, I like how it angles down to a smaller point, so it works well for the lower lash line as well. But the shape of this just works well for me without me poking myself in the eye. And it's a lengthening mascara. Provides a little bit of volume, but it's mostly lengthening. I love this. I love the fact that it comes in other colors. So there's blue, black, and brown. Even though it's almost the same price as a Chantecaille, in my opinion, it's a much better mascara. This is one of my very favorite mascaras. I will definitely purchase this again. And yeah, I'm hoping Nordstrom does their mascara madness soon so I can pick up a bunch of them. Next, we have the Victoria Beckham Future Lash Mascara. This is a tubing mascara. And you can see you've got a very small curved wand. I think I didn't have an issue with the wand. A lot of people had issues with the product actually like kind of like bubbling up out of the container or being a little too wet and goopy. I did have some goopiness issues occasionally when I used it, but primarily I didn't have issues with that for the most part. You know, no issues really with the formula. It is a tubi mascara, but I found that the more that I used it, it just didn't hold up as well as the Merit. I did end up getting like flaking and stuff as it got a little bit drier but it was still well, you know, well before it should have dried up, you know, well before that like three month period even. So I would not purchase this one again. It's just, 
it's not a favorite. My other favorite mascara here is the Surat Noir Lash Tint, and I absolutely love this. I had actually saved the wand, cleaned it out, and tried it in some other mascaras. I have that in like one of the Get Ready With Me videos from like a month ago, but I really love this. It's technically a lash tint and not a mascara. It's gonna give you definition. It's not gonna give you a lot of volume or, or it gives you a little bit of length, but you know, really this is more for that everyday daytime look. But what I love is this wand separates the lashes so incredibly beautifully. Um, that's, yeah, I absolutely love this. You do need an oil-based remover to remove this. So this and the Sisley So Stretch, those are my two very favorite mascaras. And then for volumizing, when I want something volumizing, I still go for the Chanel, the Volume de Chanel. So this is actually the two from the Metal Terracotta shade that came out in the spring. I've <laughs> finished with this for quite a while now. I love it when they do the limited edition colors. I wish they weren't limited edition. I still miss the purple and the blue and the burgundy and stuff that they used to have way back when. Uh, but yeah, you know, this is a mascara, you know, that I just, I tend to rely on. Like I go back to that one. It's still not the perfect volumizing mascara to me, so I'm still always looking for something else, but I always come back to it. So I particularly like using the Chanel Volume de Chanel with the mascara base. For me, that makes a big difference whether I use it with the base or without. If I don't use the base, it just doesn't give me those like, it's not that I don't get the volume, I do, but I guess the lengthening isn't as noticeable. Whereas if I use the mascara base, they seem longer and more voluminous. So yeah, I have to say I would continue to repurchase the Chanel mascara. I mean, it's been a staple for, I don't know, 20 years? I don't know, how long has it been around? Um, but yeah, you know, as long as I can remember, since I started buying department store makeup, <laughs> this is one that I've always purchased. Other mascaras that I haven't quite used up yet, but they're getting near to their expiration date. So this is the Ilia Longest Lash Mascara, and I actually really do like this one. I like the wand. I like how it's like a comb. You can see you've got comb bristles, but then you also have like fluffier bristles. I really like that. I like the way this performs, but as this tube has gotten a bit older, it has gotten flakier, so I'm about ready to toss this. And then the new one from Ilia, this is, I have two of these tubes actually. I don't love this brush as much. I don't really have an issue with it, but I just prefer the one on the longest lash. Uh, this is the fullest volumizing mascara, and you know, I just find it to be only okay. Uh, I, I think the formula of the longest lash, it just looks better on my lashes. Um, so this is just, eh. So I, I wouldn't purchase this again. The Ilia, I don't know. You know, I really liked it when I first opened it. So I wouldn't purchase a full size, but maybe if they had like a small travel size, which they might of this, then I would consider picking that up because it is a nice mascara, but you know, there are others I like better. So it's a probably not. Another thing that I have finished up is another tube of the Surat Perfectionist Primer. This is still my favorite. I'm already on my third of the big tubes and they last me quite a while. So, you know, it's $95, but I did pick these up on sale. The ones I have now, I picked them up, you know, a while ago when there was a big sale going on. So I have, let's see here, I have one more big tube left after I finished my third one that I just started. So it'll last me quite a while. And this is still the best primer, in my opinion, for if you have skin like mine and you put on sunscreen and it's like a little dewy and so forth, this mattifies it without being drying to the skin. So I find it to be perfect for my skin type. Absolutely love the primer. And I think it just, it makes a huge difference for me. So I will continue to buy these. All right, so let's move on to a bag of trash and recycling. So, um, by the way, if you are in the Maryland area, Walk and Fuss is one of my favorite chocolate stores. If you haven't tried it yet, try them out. I always get like the little like mini kins around the holidays and stuff. They sell, it's just solid chocolate wrapped in like different things and, and so forth. So, you know, just really 
chocolate. So some of the packages I have in here are actually packaging from things I'm using now. So this here is the package from the Ray Trouvé conditioning tonic with chamomile. And I used up a little bottle of that. Let me see if I can find that. Cause I used that up. It took a lot longer to use that than I expected. So let me see if I can find that. Cause I know I wrote the dates on that. Here it is. So this little bottle here is one ounce or 30 milliliters. I used it every single night. So it's like one of those acid based toners. There's not a lot of acid, but there's a, a tiny bit. So it's an exfoliating toner. So really just once a day, if you're using like a retinol or something, skip that day. Um, but you know, I wasn't using any retinol products at the time. So I'm trying to, to work that back into my routine, hoping my skin tolerates it now, but I haven't started yet. So anyway, I was using this once a night from February 16th to July 3rd. That's when I ran out. Now, what I do to prolong the usage of my toners and, you know, any liquid products, if I have a spray bottle, I'll put it in there and spray it with something like this. I honestly didn't think it would last that long. I just poured a little bit in my palm and would just pat it on my face, neck and chest and so forth. And yeah, it, that's how long it lasted me. I mean, that's almost five months for one ounce. So I did pick up the full size, which is eight ounces, 240 milliliters. <laughs> so very curious. I mean, it's eight times the size. <laughs> so curious to see how long this will last me. I started using it right after I finished this up. And again, I'm just using it once a day. All right, a few other things I've used up. This is the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This, I actually have to say, I had for many years. So I don't know if the packaging is exactly the same. I feel like it's more rounded now. Um, it took me a really long time to use this up because I just didn't love it. It didn't really feel deep conditioning to me. I, it may have been reformulated. Honestly, I had this for, I don't know, five or six years. So it took me a really long time to use it up. But I did. Um, for me, it felt more like a lightweight conditioner. Like it didn't didn't really seem to have an effect on my hair. So I don't plan on picking this up again. I also finished up another bottle of the Floral Toning Lotion from Sisley. Got another one. I have a smaller one this time that's maybe about this big. These take me forever. I It's something that I have repurchased many times. I will continue to repurchase. Uh, it's just it's something nice and light on my skin. Um, you know, I usually use it, you know, just in the morning. And again, I apply it the same way I do with the Ray Trouvé where I put it in the palm of my hand and pat it on. Bosha Makeup Breakup um, Cool Cleansing Oil. I've purchased this a few times in the past. I've never loved it, but it's one of those things where sometimes you just can't find something to buy that seems any better. So you, you buy it again. So this particular bottle, I think it took me like three or four years to, get, to use up because uh, I know I, I moved with this. <laughs> so it took me quite a while to use that one up. And honestly, in the end, I was using it to just kind of clean up swatches on my arms. Um, it's just, it's one I haven't loved, but it does actually work. So I'm probably not gonna purchase it again, but you never know. Another thing I used up, this is the Sisley Neck Cream. And I purchased this, it probably took me two years to finish this, but I wasn't using it regularly. When I first got it, I was using it all the time and it felt like, you know, my neck and everything seemed to look a little bit better. Honestly, I think it was really mostly the hydration aspect. I think whatever I had been using there before just, you know, wasn't performing as well. So, you know, I don't really think, in my opinion, and you know, this is not my, my forte, but neck creams, they are essentially basic moisturizers. However, I do think that there are some that are formulated slightly differently to provide a little bit more of like perhaps a tightening effect and so forth. Again, it's gonna be a temporary effect, but I do think that's the case. And you know, I, I do think that this made my neck look a little bit better while I was using it consistently, but not enough to say that it would be worth purchasing again. So I don't plan on picking this up again. Uh, if it comes in like some sort of like value set or something like that and it's like free, I would pick it up that way. But uh, I don't plan on purchasing this again on its own. A few other things, shaving cream. Um, I use the Kiss My Face Moisture Shave. I buy like the big like four or five combo packs on um, Amazon. Been using it 
for many, many years. So I'm just gonna keep using it. Also, we have the Retrouvé Dynamic Nourishing Face Cream. I, I don't remember how long this one took me to use because I stopped using it. Like I started this September 19th of 2020 and I stopped using it, you know, like I wasn't using it all the time. Last fall, I wanted to use it like as a daytime moisturizer, but it just wasn't quite the right hydration level for me. Like around this time of year, it was a little bit too heavy. But then when we got full swing into winter, it wasn't quite heavy enough. So, you know, I ended up using it up mostly as a night cream during the warmer months. So I finished that up this summer and I like it, but I don't love it. There are other moisturizers from Ray Trouvé that I love and would purchase over this, such as the Intensive, which I would, I like to use as, you know, an overnight moisturizer and the Nutrient Face Serum, which is something that I continue to purchase. So this one, it just isn't my favorite, but I think if it's the right moisture level for you, it's a great product. Also finished up a full size of Olaplex number four and I think number five, whatever the conditioner number is. And it's one that it's a little too heavy for me to use every day, but it's something that I like to use every once in a while um, to, you know, how you like to switch up your shampoos. So I like to switch up to it once in a while and I'll use this with like the hair mask and everything. And you know, it does do a nice job on my hair then. But if I use it, you know, on a daily basis, it's just a little heavy for my hair, which is very fine. All right, this is from Biologique Recherche. This is just the box, this little sample. This little sample actually took me a while to use up. It's, uh, I think, a third of an ounce, no, four milliliters. So 0.13 ounces, actually. And it it took me a while to use it up, though. It's, a night, it's an eye cream. It's the Creme Contour Desia VIP02. So it's your brightening eye contour cream. And I thought it was okay, but honestly, I didn't notice anything from it. Perhaps if I used something larger, but I just, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it or anything, but again, I didn't have enough product to see results from it. I thought the consistency and the smell and everything, none of that was bothersome. So I would try it again, but I'm not rushing out just because I didn't notice anything in the amount of time it took me to use this. And we have the Pharmacy Honey Potion Mask. And this is just one of the smaller sizes and nothing special. No, no plans on purchasing this. Nothing wrong with it, but I just didn't really notice anything either. Then we have the Caudalie Vino Perfect Dark Spot Correcting Moisturizer. And I don't know if it actually worked on dark spots or anything, but I really liked the consistency of this moisturizer and it felt very comfortable on my skin. So I would, I think I have another sample, not a sample, but like one of these little travel sizes. I think I have another one of these. So I will try it again, but I thought it was a, a nice moisturizer to kind of have on hand. This is a box for a sample that I'm trying from Skin Better Science. This is the IMAX Alpha Ret Overnight Cream. So it's a retinol based eye cream that you use just like a couple times a week or every other day if you want. And I haven't used this enough to say whether or not I notice any effects or anything yet, but I did want to mention that I haven't had any irritation from it, which is good, which is why I am considering trying a retinol again all over my skin to see if that works. But so far the, the eye cream, no issues with that whatsoever. I left the two for this downstairs, but this is the box for the Suku Multi Skin Protector SPF 50. So this is a sunscreen from Suku. It's, how many ounces is this? You know, it's not a large container. It's 1.05 ounces um, or 30 grams in this case. Made in Japan. I think it's a very nice sunscreen. And yeah, you know, I, I would use it again. I haven't had a white cast or anything no issues with like burning or anything like that. So I think it's very nice, but I, you know, I think there are others that I found that I like just as much that aren't as expensive. Right now I've been using the Anessa one the most. Uh, I really like that one. I've gone through a, a couple bottles of that one now. And yeah, so I would, I would pick this one up again, but Maybe only if I couldn't find something else I wanted to try first, you know, if that makes sense. A couple more products that I'm using now. I'm actually almost done with this one. This is the Sicily Triple Oil Balm Makeup Remover and Cleanser for face and eyes. 
and it reminds me of the Augustinus Bader cleansing balm. So it's one of those like jelly type balms that turns into oil when you rub it. So it's like an oily base. I've been using it generously, but actually you really only need a little bit. I think it's, it's nice. It performs well. I just don't love it. Would I purchase it again? I would, but only because I think it's a good value. I forget how much this is, but it's 125 grams or 4.4 ounces. So I do think, you know, it's a pretty big jar that you're getting and it works really well. Um, I just prefer something that's not quite as oily feeling, um, but because it works so well and it does not sting my eyes at all, um, I would pick it up again. Also, I should have brought this container up, but I just finished this today. This is the Fido Blanc Le Swan Correcting Brightening Moisturizer SPF 50 plus, and it's a PA triple plus. So this is 1.3 ounces or 40 milliliters. And I've been using this, you know, after I do my skincare, I've been putting this on as sunscreen and if I'm going to be outside I put on an additional sunscreen but if I'm just staying inside for the day during the summer that that was it so I basically used this for the entire summer so maybe three months worth and um it, it is a little when it says brightening it's a little bit whitening so you know it kind of fades it looks white when you first put it on your skin but then it kind of fades I don't know if it would work for deeper complexions, but for me, it's not noticeable on the skin after the first like five, 10 seconds. And I, I liked it, you know, I enjoyed using it, but the value really isn't there for me. Um, so probably gonna pass on this. Might as well go through a few more Sicily products. I've been using the Sicily Fido Blanc Le Concentre for quite a while. I went through one jar of it and purchased a second. I'm almost through with the second. Thought I had the pump bottle up here, but um, maybe I already trashed that. So anyways, you get the little bottle here and it comes inside this box. And I've been testing this out to see whether I notice any difference in the fading of dark spots. And I did do, in my last skincare video, I had like an update on that. I forget how many months that was, but I will be filming another update right when I finish this. It's almost gone. So I'll finish that and we'll see, you know, after it's approximately six months worth of use, you know, what kind of differences and whether or not it was worth it. It was pretty expensive and there's actually, the idea is like you use this, you go through like one or two bottles and then you move on to what their new product is, the Radiance Serum, which, you know, I need to, to research that a little bit more. But um, I think I'm done buying these. I will move on to the Radiance and see how that is. I think that is not necessarily going to correct your spots, but maybe it works more on the prevention side for getting new ones. And I think it also is supposed to maintain anything you've corrected with this. So I know you're supposed to use this first and then move to the Radiant Serum. I think that's what it's called. But um, yeah, so we'll see. I'll do an update after I have finished that bottle and we'll see whether or not there has been any difference because I have been taking little like clips over time to see whether or not there is or not. Biologie Quecherche Late EV. This is a hydrating cleansing milk. And I used this, oh, September 15th, 2020. And I don't know when I finished this exactly. It was sometime around June or July. Uh, I didn't write, write it on here, but it lasted for like nine, 10 months. And I think that's pretty good. You know, it's 250 milliliters, 8.4 ounces. I use this about once a day. This is the one I kept in the shower and I would use in the morning. And I thought it was a nice basic cleansing milk, but I didn't see anything special in it. It's not a bad price, um, you know, for something that still doesn't leave your skin feeling like there's any film or anything like that, considering how long it lasts at me. So would I pick this up again? Maybe, but I would keep looking for something better first. I have heard that some of their other cleansers are a better choice than this one. So maybe I'll try one of those first, but um, you know, it wasn't bad. I also picked up a few other things from Skin Better Science. So I picked up the small half milliliter or half ounce size, sorry, 15 milliliters. So of their wrinkle treatment. So this is the intensive treatment, it's called Lines. 
And this is supposed to help like reduce any sort of stubborn lines you have like around the like the 11s around the lips and so forth it says it has collagen supporting peptides vitamin c works synergistically with hyaluronic acid to provide a smoothing effect on targeted areas such as crow's feet forehead upper lip and smile lines you're supposed to add it to those areas morning and night and i haven't used this enough yet to say i kind of started it but then stopped to try something else so I will have to try this and see whether or not it's worth picking up a full size. I mean, this is the small full size, but they sell a bigger one, a full ounce. I also picked up their Interfuse Treatment Cream for the eye. So this is an AM and PM eye cream. And I was looking specifically for something for the, the daytime because I have a couple of nighttime eye creams that I like to use exclusively during the night, like the Ray Treve one. So, um... Yeah, so I use this during the daytime and I've been using this now for maybe about a month. And yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like the texture, I like the consistency. It seems moisturizing, whether it's doing more than providing moisturization, not sure yet. And then I also picked up the Interfuse Treatment Cream for face and neck. This is just, you know, a moisturizer. So this is a basic moisturizer, essentially. There, again, there's peptides, collagen, um, you know, they have a patented interfuse delivery system and so forth. And I've been using this as a daytime moisturizer. And yeah, I haven't been using it every day. With the warmer months, it's like if my skin has needed the moisture, I put this on. But I haven't used it, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis enough just because I haven't needed it yet. Also used up another jar of the Christophe Robin. This is the Regenerating Mask with Rare Prickly Pear Seed Oil. And I really love this. I don't use this as a hair mask. This is like my daily conditioner. It comes in a jar and I put this in and um, yeah, I use this almost every day. Um, so it's primarily my daily conditioner. I don't love the scent, but I know some people really do. I actually, my mom got a jar of this also because she liked what it did to my hair so much and she loves it and she loves the smell. So like for her, the smell is fantastic. For me, it's just, eh. I'm used to it now, but in the beginning I was just kind of like, uh, <laughs> but yeah, now it's like, you know, it doesn't bother me at all, but I, I like the product enough that I'm almost done with my second jar of this and then I have a third one already purchased. So it's it's a good conditioner for me because it doesn't weigh down my hair but really seems to help prevent a little bit of the frizz and um, you know, it just, it's a good amount of moisture for my hair. My mom has much coarser, drier hair than I do and yet she likes it for hers as well. So, um, you know, I think it definitely has some properties that are good without weighing down fine hair like mine. Other items I'm using, and these were the ones that um, Christy Noga from Givenchy, she gifted these to me. And these are the Le Soin Noir Serum and the Creme Legere, so the, the light cream. So these are the new formula. And I have to say, I wasn't sure if I'd, I'd like them or not. Like, I'm sure I, I knew that they would be, you know, totally fine, but I wasn't sure if I would like love them or if they'd just be, eh. I don't know whether, you know, the serum, if I, I've noticed anything from the serum, I haven't used it long enough yet, um, but no problems with the serum, you know. But I have to say the moisturizer, I really like it because I don't know what it is, but there's something in here that's really helping with the redness in my skin. So I've been using this mostly at night and my skin's been looking really nice. I've been getting a little, a lot of compliments recently. This is the only thing that I have changed in the past several months. So I've added this in as my nighttime moisturizer and on most nights, once in a while, if I need more, more of something or less of something, I'll change it up. But almost every night I've been using this since I got it and my skin has been a lot less red and this, these do have a fragrance, they have a scent. It just, it's a relaxing scent though. Like it makes me feel like I'm in a spa. And so I'm really, really loving, particularly the moisturizer. Again, I, I don't, I haven't used the serum enough to say, but I, I like the serum, 
love the moisturizer. Oh, and here is the bottle, one of my hairs, of the La Concentre. So this was the serum from Sisley that I am finishing up my second bottle of. So just so you, so you can see. So once it's like empty, you can see like it's, I mean, it still goes down, but it feels different going down and it feels much slower coming up and you can see nothing comes out. I have broken open some of these packages from Sisley before and I have to say they really do, you know, the pumps are really efficient at getting all of the product out, which is very impressive. Now I haven't tried it with the Le Concentre, but I did try it with one of the Sislea Lanticroll serums. Like I had to take a hammer and crack that thing open, but I did and it's really efficient at removing the product from the interior of the container. So I like that. And almost done. This is the Augustinus Bader cleansing balm that I said is very similar, in my opinion, to the Sisley one. And let's see if we can see. You can see a little bit in here. Like it kind of looks like, let's see if I can get a little bit here. So you can see how it's like kind of this like oily balm type texture. The Sisley one's a little bit thicker but they're very, very similar and in my opinion. So you can see how like oily it gets. They both perform very well. I like both of them. I think they're both nice products. This is 90 grams or 3.1 ounces. So it's smaller than the Sisley. This lasted me about five and a half months. So I used it from January 14th to June 20th and I used it every day. And again, the Sisley is about, what was that? 4.4 grams instead of the 3.1. So, or I'm sorry, ounces, not grams. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the Sisley is a little bit bigger. So you can see, you know, based on performance, the Sisley will probably last closer to maybe like nine months. And yeah, I mean, you really don't need a lot of product with these. I do find them to be very similar to each other. I like both of them, but again, I just would prefer something that's not quite as oily on my skin. I do a double cleanse, so it's not that big of a deal, but I don't know. It's just, you know, personal preference, but I wouldn't hesitate to use this again. I did, I did like this, and I also like the Sicily one. So they are both things that I would repurchase again provided that, you know, the price was right. Like, you know, if I was on sale and I was looking for a cleansing bomb, I would pick it up again. And last up, I just started using this as a night eye cream. So this is the Sisley Supremia Yu Anti-Aging Eye Serum. So I put this on at night and then I usually put that on and then like maybe like half an hour later or something, or, you know, maybe I'll put that on like an hour or two before bed, depends on the day. Then I'll put on the Ray Trive eye cream on top of that right before I go to bed. So I've been using the two of them together. I've only been using this one for about two weeks. So I can't really say anything yet. I think you're supposed to wait like something like four to six weeks before you see results. But I did see an esthetician, um, a Sisley esthetician, but she strongly recommended this. You know, says it's like one of their best products. And, you know, she said I should definitely see results from this you know, in a month or two. So definitely can't wait to see how that goes, but I do really like the texture. All right, so that is it. I just wanted to kind of go through those and let you guys know my thoughts on those items. And I actually have one more thing I almost forgot. This is the Givenchy Lip Balm. So this is Le Rouge Balm in 08 Universal. And they're making this refillable. They're actually moving all of their lip products over to refillable things. One of the things I like about their skincare is those are refillable as well. So you just buy a refill to go into like the jar and so forth. Um, this one here is not currently refillable, but it should be when it comes out again next year. This came out spring, I think, and I used it up. <laughs> so I don't know, there was something about this. It was like the perfect weight for me to use during the summer. I Started off just using it as my morning lip balm after, you know, I brushed my teeth and everything. I put it on, nice lightweight layer, and, you know, it kept my lips in good shape. And then as the months got warmer during the summer, I started using it at nighttime too. And I did use it up, and I, I really like it. So I do want to get another one. I'm not even sure exactly what it is about this one that makes me reach for it so much. I have a few other lip balms and so forth, like the Dior one and so forth. The Dior one's a little bit firmer. This one was a little bit creamier, 
but still there I just couldn't figure out what it was about it <laughs> I still don't know but there's something about it that I really like so I am going to pick this up again but I'm going to wait for it to come in the refillable packaging to say I really like the white leather case and everything as well so I'm definitely going to save the case and hopefully I can grab a refill of this so um that was it and I hope this was helpful. I would love to know things that you guys have used up, any recommendations you have for things for me to try in the future. I actually am overloaded on skincare right now, but um, you know, I'm making lists all the time. So please let me know any recommendations that you have. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon. So have a great day and stay safe and healthy.